Hi, my name is Colin Trevorrow. I am the president of the jury at the New Images a VR Festival here in Paris this weekend. Uh, I mean, the real answer is that I don't know, and, and that's why it's so exciting right now, because people are are kind of making this up as we go along. It's an actual frontier, and we are developing and innovating uh, a medium in a way that hasn't been done in a very long time. I, I'm not sure I, I was alive the last time there was an actual new medium for storytelling. Uh, so it's it's just very exciting for me to see people uh, try and define what the rules are because there are no rules. You know, I've seen so many different kinds of stories today and some that didn't even attempt to be a story that they were they were just an experience uh i i went on a ayahuasca drug trip today i, I got to experience that and uh, i also uh, got to to have uh, an experience that was a hybrid of of drama there were actors actually in the room uh, and then we were putting on a vr headset and and engaging with the actors uh, as well as watching something so those are two things that are are innovations in in directions that I don't think, you know, film or television or uh, any other medium has been able to to take us. Um, I, I've done some VR with with Jurassic World. We've done two pieces, one for each movie uh, with uh, these guys, Felix and Paul, who are from Montreal. And the reason why I chose them to do it is because uh, of one uh, experience that they showed me. Uh, and it was so simple. And it was just a guy in his apartment alone uh, playing a song on the piano. And you felt like you were a friend of his and you were sitting on a couch and he had a dog and you'd look at the dog and the dog would look back up at you. Uh, and the sound uh, was so beautifully designed that it really felt like it was echoing on the inside of a room. It was so immersive. And uh, to me, I, I guess if I was going to have a criteria for what makes great VR, it's, it's allowing you to forget that you are wearing a headset, that you're anywhere but actually in that room and it's you. Right now I'm uh, in pre-production on Jurassic World 3, and uh, we have done a VR experience for both uh, of the first two movies, uh, and we have evolved uh, the technology and, and really pushed forward with each one, and I, I know we'll do, we'll do another one uh, with the next film. So thinking about what we're uh, doing on a story level and how we can uh, allow whatever our VR experience is to be connected to it, to be a, a bridge that, that allows people to have an experience outside uh, of the movie theater, which is another great experience. Please go to the movie theater. But uh, this is very exciting for us, too. And, and what's, what's cooler than being able to feel like there's a real dinosaur in front of you? I get excited about this festival because it's, it's art and it's it's a moment in in the uh, in the history of VR where no one really knows what it is yet. So you can actually get money to do stuff that no one really understands, and great art can come from that. And so I'm just fired up that we're we're here in this moment when people can get away with a lot of experimentation. That maybe as it becomes, you know, more owned, more corporate, more commodified over time, uh, these artists might not get away with it anymore. So just just do it, do it as much as you can. Thank <laughs> you.